No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. This trip, oh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna have to lose the lights. It's my first holiday season as a dad. Woo! We just got back from our Thanksgiving trip, so I thought I would break down my top five handy holiday travel tips. Tip number one. Uh, Siri, what are some holiday travel tips? I give up. Uh, oh, I overknocked. Okay, I thought this would be a super easy holiday travel video, but the first holiday with your baby is kind of weird. <laughs> Yeah. So here are my top five weird holiday truths. Yeah, it's gonna get weird. <laughs> Number one, prepare for the worst. The first leg of our holiday drive was from New York to Boston. We've done this drive a million times. What could possibly go wrong? Are you kidding me? The only thing that a dad needs to know how to do is change a flat tire. So here I am uh, watching a man named Angel put the spare on our car in a parking lot in the Bronx. Yes, his name was really Angel, and yes, of course he disappeared after he changed the tire. Happy holidays. Changing a tire is always one of those things I meant to look up. It's like spelling the word restaurant. I should look it up, but I just don't. But here's the deal, man. You're a dad now, so you do have to know how to change a tire. So on Friday, after Thanksgiving, I went to Pep Boys, they sold me a new tire, and I put it on myself. I changed a tire, I'm a big boy, woo! During the holiday season, your dad skills are gonna be tested, so be prepared. Number two, jealousy. Caitlin, Rory, and I have been living in our own little family bubble for the past seven months. I thought when I got to my in-laws, I would hand them over and feel relief. What I didn't expect to feel was jealousy. I feel a little jealous when I see how much Rory likes my super handsome brother-in-law. There's something about being a first-time dad that made me a little bit possessive. I don't know what else to say about it, it's just super weird. Almost as weird as using a video to tell your brother-in-law you find him attractive. Like he's got good salad, you know, he's got good, his hair is great. Number three, your role within your family has changed. Over the years, I've grown accustomed to a certain Thanksgiving lifestyle. I show up at my house, my mom throws food into my mouth, and I take a ton of naps. But guess who gets all the food and naps now? You already know who it is, it's a little frickin' baby I made. Being a new dad during the holidays means that your role in your larger family is sort of in limbo. You're not the baby anymore, but your dad duties are kind of being taken over by the grandparents. It's kind of like being a rookie cop. Yeah, you got a badge and a gun, but all the old vets are just waiting for you to throw up at your first crime scene. Hey, Kaufman's changing a mega dump, I bet he hurls. You have to establish a new role for yourself. Give the baby to somebody else, take a nap, but also do some of your dad duties as well. Try not to throw up. Number four, your in-laws and parents are now baby crazy and don't really care what you do. Since this was gonna be a special holiday, I wanted to do something nice for my in-laws. So I put together a little plan to prepare breakfast. Timing was essential, so the night before I ordered groceries, I woke up in the morning, grabbed Rory, gave mom a break, and went to go pick them up. I was about to become the world's best son-in-law. We're hanging out in the car right now. <laughs> do you like hanging out in the car? Okay, jury's still out. So I actually don't have to go in, which is awesome. The good people here at Walmart are actually gonna bring the groceries out to me. I got pumpkin pie, muffins, all sorts of breakfast stuff. I think this might be our guy, Ro. Groceries are gonna come, and then we're gonna bring them to Nana and Pa, and we're gonna be heroes. Yeah, we're gonna be heroes. Hey, man. How are you today? Good, how's it going? I'm gonna vote for you. Great, thanks. No problem. We're all set, sir. Great, thanks so much. Have a good day. All right, you too. Great job, boy. So after all that, do you think they were excited for breakfast? Oh, sure. But they were more excited for somebody else's breakfast. You getting a haircut, bud? Wasn't just my in-laws. Same thing was true with my parents. So your in-laws no longer want to talk about how work's going or what's going on with you. In some ways, you're off the hook. They are solely focused. And it makes sense. But man, I had to eat a lot of pie. Number five. Don't plan stuff, do nothing. You know what we did over the holidays? We drove, we ate, we slept, we walked, and we sat in the respective living rooms of both of our parents and watched Rory. And you know what? It was great. His grandma and grandpa showed him the woods. His nana and pa helped him stand and eat. Your first holiday with a baby is gonna be crazy. 
There are gonna be things that you are not prepared for, emotions that you didn't think you would feel. So when you get to where you're going, plop that baby down in the living room and watch them do nothing. It's everything. Huh, look at that. I guess there was a holiday tip in there after all. Woo! I hope you enjoyed these weird holiday truths. If you want some more great parenting content for the holidays, click the subscribe button below for more awesome videos from Fatherly, and tell me one of your own weird holiday truths in the comments. Enjoy this month, try not to stress out too much, and no matter what you do, do not chug a full glass of eggnog. Ugh, why did I do that? It's not even a funny bit.